Hello and welcome. It's Vidi here with another video for Crafty Scrappers. Today's video features the amazing shimmer sprays. These are dye based sprays and I thought it would be so much fun to create galaxy backgrounds using these. For my first card, I used bluish tones of color. The colors that I use are all listed in the description box below. So I started with pink here, which is not so visible and then I sprayed blue and green. It might not look like much right now, but remember, these are shimmer sprays, so the colors will be more visible when this dries. Also, it'll leave a very subtle and pretty shimmer. I always like to use either yellow or orange to make the galaxy look more organic. It will also give a contrasting color to the rest of the dark tones. I partially dried it, using a heat gun and now I'm leaving it aside to dry. Now let's work on the second panel. Here let's start the magic with bright yellow and orange first. Once I sprayed the green, I tried bringing everything together with blue. But then there's just so much green for galaxy and that's the best part of using shimmer sprays. You can just lift off the color that you do not like. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I will use some shimmer paint in orange to add splatters. You can use gold if you want to, but I have this one in stash. So I'm using a very thin brush for adding splatters. Size of splatters depends upon two things. One, how liquid is your color? The, most, the more flowy it is, the bigger the drops. And two, the size of your brush. The smaller the brushes mean that you will get smaller splatters. For white, I used diluted gesso. You can also use white acrylic paint. But I do not recommend using watercolor as it tends to spread more and become translucent. I also added some pista green splatters with this shimmer paint. Just some tiny splatters to get some added interest. Anyways, let's work on the sentiment now. This is such a fun mini stamp set called Love You to the Moon and Back. I heat emboss it with holographic embossing powder for a subtle shine over the black ink. I think this sentiment goes really well with the background and is a must have if you plan to do galaxy backgrounds. I do think that galaxy backgrounds are truly versatile. You can do clean and simple cards as I show in my third example. These are quick and easy. They are good for both genders, can be easily given to a guy. So many sentiments are possible. Encouragement card, romantic cards, sympathy cards or even Christmas cards. The cardstock is from a DCWE paper pack. This will also make the thin black cardstock more sturdy. Now, let's assemble the first card. The galaxy panel can be directly used as is for creating a simple, elegant card. But I wanted to notch it up a little. I'm going to trim the card panel and mat it on this shimmery cardstock. The size of this panel will allow some white border around the panel, which is the look I'm going for. Here is the finished card and it just looks so pretty in real life with all the shimmer and sparkly colors. We already created the background for this second card. All that's left to do is assemble the alphabet stickers on the panel. For this, I use a scale, align it with the grid on my mat to make sure that I'm putting the letters straight. This card was so easy to create and makes for such a fun encouragement card. You can also make the sentiment say something like, wish upon a star, or shine like a star. Notice how the gold in the word stars complements the yellow and orange in the background. I also added some star stickers. So let's move on to the final card design. This is a clean and simple card. As you can see, this panel is uneven. 
it was an experimental panel that I made for trying out the galaxy technique. I used a rainbow of colors on this one. I just wanted to show you that you can use the stamp cover to decide on the placement of elements on your card. Once I'm happy with placement, I'm going to glue everything down. And here is how my card looks. You can add star cutouts or MDF pieces if you like on this project. But I left it as is because I like the clean and simple look. It, it makes the card look more modern. Let's now have a look at all the three cards that we made today. I hope you like how these turned out and you will give this technique a try. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafty content. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.